Oftentimes we underfund it. Um, it's, it's an estimate. And uh, we estimate probably on the low side, traditionally, expecting that we're going to come back and pay our bills because it's an entitlement. We have to pay it. Um, this time, I think the idea was that, yes, with the new administration uh, in Washington, that there might be more room to negotiate uh, some more of those federal funds coming to Texas that uh, some of my colleagues have been averse to receiving with previous administration, with previous administration. So um, I think we could have had more explicit language about saying if indeed we're able to draw down uh, more of the, of the Medicaid expansion dollars, uh, then let's have some mechanism in there to allow that to happen. Um, I think there was concern on the part of some that we don't want to, we don't want to talk about that too much though. There's still too many knee jerk reactions. Still looks too much like Obamacare. Exactly. Basically. Um, but the fact is that, uh, you know, it's, it's about a billion dollars of GR, mm -hmm. state GR, and then another two point something or close to one and a half, I guess, of federal dollars. So overall, it's about two and a half billion dollars. Um, that, is, that is money that uh, we will make up and we will cover no matter what happens. I think there are some that are concerned because of what happened with the, the acute care therapy cuts that we had this last session, uh, that uh, this would mean a cut in services and that is not the intention this is a common practice. It was worded, I think, a little differently this time, but it is, it is not meant to be a cut. Because the concern is, you know, that you could gain the, gar the, the bargaining leverage and it could go in the direction you're suggesting, but what if it goes the other direction? Right? Absolutely. And uh, I've been assured uh, by Chairman Zerwas that uh, the intention here is to make sure that we give the flexibility but that we also know we're going to come back and make sure that everybody gets paid and that everybody gets the services. We actually put a rider in the in the budget that uh, or that basically are an amendment, I guess, that night that basically says um, that this has to be done without reducing benefits or eligibility.